What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's springtime here in Iowa and this is the maiden voyage of my trusty redback robot mower and uh, I thought I would just kind of take you along show you how it's doing and give you some updates on the things that I've had to do over the last few years of owning this mower and uh, just kind of generally update you since the last video which was years ago I think when I first got it. So basically, um, I'll try and kind of give you the updates as uh, as well as keep up with what it's doing right now. So I apologize if I'm jumping around, but I just want to kind of explain what's happening. So I set it up yesterday. All I had to do is take it out of my shed, plug in the dock to the boundary wire, as well as to my wall socket there. Uh, and then I let it sit on the charger overnight. This morning I came in, turned, uh, actually the switch was already on to charge, so I selected one quarter acre, which is the largest yard size. The reason I did that is I want it to stay out all day, just on its first time here, and uh, kind of monitor it. So what happened is as soon as I hit start, it backed out, and that's when I started the camera. So it went to the boundary, found the boundary and then made its way back home and backed out and now it's in what I call mowing mode. So it's kind of got two modes, one where it traces the boundary and then one where it'll just go random like it's doing now. Um, we'll kind of follow along but in the meantime I'll give you updates. So last year I tried something new with the mower and that was to leave it out overnight every night and just kind of let it run its own schedule. Before that point, what I had done is taken it inside each evening and interrupted the schedule and just hit go uh, about once a week when I wanted to mow. So I would take it inside, wait a few days, bring it back out, put it on the dock, and let it go. The issue with that was that I was interrupting the charging, and so I would take it out and it would be dead because it had sat all week off the charger, and then I was expecting it to mow regardless of what level of charge it was at. So that's why I switched, and that's why you see the plywood laying here to shield it. They do make some nice little huts, and I think I'm going to upgrade to one of those this year, and I'll explain why. Um, so anyway, this year I'm going to stick with that plan of letting it sit out all year. One issue that I ran into, because of my little shielding setup, I didn't have this in place before this issue happened. It sat out in at least one rainstorm, if not two or three. And I started encountering all sorts of crazy electrical issues where it would back out and just do circles endlessly for like half an hour. And then it would quit or it would go outside of the boundary, which is a big problem. I'd come out and find it um, across the street or across the backyard or whatever. And what that ended up being was the control board for the boundary sensor had basically gotten fried. And so I was lucky enough to find one used, which was a blessing. It's almost impossible to find parts, uh, or that part in particular. The problem is they've upgraded that part now, and Redback is no longer in business. This is now being marketed as the Moro, M-O-W-R-O. Oh, there's a giant stick I should have moved. Um, and so you have to buy from them. It is still available, but that part in particular had been updated and was no longer available. So I was lucky enough to replace it, and that solved all my issues. And the only reason that happened was that it sat out in the rain. Something else that happened along with that is the charging brick, or the wall plug, had also sat out in the rain, and I was able to find just a universal uh, sort of wall plug. I think it's just a 40 volt, basically laptop charger is what I ended up with. And all I had to do was move over the plug, the round style plug that fits the dock. And that worked great. And that's still working. That's a pretty cheap replacement. You can also buy the original charger from Moro now. So if you're running into that issue, that's a possibility. Um, the reason I want to switch to the dock, I'll take you over and explain that. Uh, 
the docking hut, I guess we'll call it. I'm not sure what the actual name is. But the problem I've run into with my board, other than it being so unattractive, is it only shields it from the top, not from the front or the sides. And the dock would do that. Something else is that I'm missing all this mowing area right here because I've got a huge 4x8 sheet of plywood. I also had to stick these blocks here because the mower is able to ramp up the board. And I've got a very steep angle on it, basically as steep as possible, and it's still able to drive up the board if these blocks aren't here, and it still kind of can ramp up those blocks. So I want to switch to the cover that's designed for this dock so that I can stake it down like it's designed to do, and it's tall enough that the mower can run into it and turn around like it's supposed to. So I'm planning to do that. Um, otherwise, I can't think of any major problems. It has hit the wire a few times over here. I've got a problem area on my lawn. This, um, it's hard to tell on camera, but there's a couple big divots here and kind of holes and there's a steep spot here. And as it goes around, it's right on the boundary wire and it'll hit there and get stuck. It kind of high centers itself. And it had hit the wire there a few times, uh, and so it broke the connection. All I had to do was trim the wire and strip the ends and reconnect the wire. So that's not too big of a deal. And you'll find that as you run the mower, you'll find the spots where it doesn't like your yard. And you can kind of make changes. Um, I've added a little bit of dirt back there to fill the holes, or you can redirect it. And that's what I finally ended up doing, is just redirecting the wire. I pulled it in here and went around that area instead of going through that area, and that made a big difference. So those are just a few of the things. Um, if you do have any questions, you can let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you on the next video.